Next tool on our list is going to be the bridge tool. So what bridge does, if we just hover over it, is going to say create creates bridging faces between selected edges or faces. So if this sounds not so clear, what we can do is just show in an example. So basically what we have here, if I go to object mode, we have one single object which has a gap in between. So if you would like to close this gap, we would use the bridge tool. What we can do is we can either select two, two edges like this and if we hit bridge, and by the way, again, a bridge can be found here on the shelf under edit mesh, or if you go to shift control, it can be found in your marking menu. So if you now hit bridge, it will just connect these two edges with a polygon in between and give you some options here. So for now, we're gonna have only divisions and the other options won't be so much available simply because we have one single polygon. So divisions basically will just give you multiple edges on this newly created polygon. So I'm gonna do a, just a couple of undos and let's see now what happens if we now select all of these edges. So basically I'm just selecting one and double click and shift double click here. And then we have all edges selected. Now we can hit bridge. And now we'll have all of this polygons connected and our gap is going to be closed. Now we can play with the divisions. We can see what taper does. We can see what twist does. So twist might be a bit aggressive. In some situations, for example, if you're working with cylinder, it may happen that you get this after your bridge operation. So then you just need to maybe play with the twist until you find the correct bridging. Same thing with the goes with the direction and if we set it to minus you will see what kind of results it will get and bridge offset the same and curve type, blend, curve and linear. So usually in many many situations you will just use bridge on its default values. So I'm just gonna go a couple of steps back. Uh, the thing, same thing will go for example if you select everything right here in the middle and without selecting the other one, you will hit bridge tool and it will close this gap. Uh, there is one other operation that is similar and it's called fill hole. So basically it will do the same thing in this case. It will just close the opening. So let's do the same thing on the other side and just bridge this. And I would like to show you that the bridge will actually work the same with the faces. So if I now select, let's say, we can actually maybe select this and move it a bit aside. So it will work, work exactly the same with faces. So if we select two faces, hit bridge, it will just connect the polygons in between. And same thing, now we can add division. If you want to twist it, then this is this is the result. Also one important thing when we talk about bridging is that now we can notice once we click on any of the objects, so we have uh, two separate, but they are actually combined into one. Bridging will only work if there is a single object selected. So to show you what I mean, what I will do is just, I will detach this selection from the entire object by going to shift control, extract faces, and then leave it as a default, hit Q or just click here. So now if I go into my object mode, you will see that I can now click on this one and this one separately. And that just means that we now have two objects selected. And you will also notice that you will not be able to select the other edge loop. And if you hit bridge, you will get notification that doesn't work with multiple objects selected. So if you have, let's say, a situation like this where you need to close the gap, but you have two objects, you will need to combine them into one first. And to do that, you simply need to go here to combine or simply go to mesh, combine, or shift right click to your marking menus and here combine. And this will just give you one object out of two and then you can do your bridge operation like so. And once you're done with the operation, once, if you want it to be the com completion of the operation, you just need to hit Q or simply right here. So this covers the bridge tool operation.